Welcome back to IO everyone, I'm your bacon overlord Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we take the most interesting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. So to never miss another story click that subscribe button plus follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I keep saying this and I'm gonna keep saying it until you follow because I know some of you haven't. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because that's where I handpick some of your comments and read them out. Hey, what's going on you guys? So I just got to the airport and I've got a very long international flight ahead of me. I've thought of an idea where I might be able to get a business class flight for free. I really hope this works. A business class flight for free? Well, Jamie Zhu, you have my attention. This Australian YouTuber recently posted a video called How to Fly Business Class for Free, which sounds like the start of every scam. You know? You know, those ones that are like, here's how you get blank for free. Just send me your credit card info along with your social insurance number and you'll get some free stuff. This video on the other hand is far from a scam and borders on being just flat out fraud. During the Sydney Natives 3 minute video, he tells viewers that he's going to fake his way from a seat in economy to a seat in the business class section. He then heads over to a store in the airport and buys what's called a moon boot. The boot is meant to be a protective structure for people that have fractured a bone in their foot or their ankle. In the intro, he cuts together a montage then of him running around in the airport wearing this boot to clearly show off that his ankle is perfectly okay. As if you didn't already know. Once Jamie finally reaches his book seat, he then awkwardly tries to cram the giant moon boot around his foot into the tiny space that airlines provide for leg room. Which is really just highlighting how brutal economy class is. Who made these chairs? Who thought this was a good idea? Nonetheless, after repeatedly trying to fit into the seat, another flight attendant is called over to get approval on moving him somewhere else. I bet if I tried to do this, they would move me to like that seat next to the door, you know, like. I like that seat, you know, there's so much more leg room, but the stress of knowing that you're the guy in charge of the door on the airplane in case of emergencies is extremely troubling, and I'm not here for it. Jamie, on the other hand, gets supremely lucky here. Upon telling the flight crew that he has a broken ankle, he is immediately moved up to the business class area, just leaving his travel buddy in the dust. The thing I hate most about that video is that eating grin on his face. Although just because the staff on that plane didn't realize that he was lying doesn't mean the comment section won't light him up for it. Most of the comments on this video are negative and for good reason. The top comment I saw first that really pieced it together for me was Nate Kong saying, so you committed fraud and posted the whole act here? This should be handy in court. Another comment from the account UCSC Fencing Videos said, You lied and took advantage of people's good nature. This is morally reprehensible. And it truly is. Jamie has to realize that he is an influencer with more than 700,000 subscribers and most of those fans could be very impressionable. Videos like this begin a butterfly effect of other people attempting to now scam and take advantage of good natured individuals for their own selfish desires. Oh, and before I forget, one more reply that had me dying and I feel like the bacon bits in my community will love this. It was a comment from Andreas Gonzalez who said, Where are his parents? My dad would whoop my ass if I behave like this. Yes, W-A-Y-P, where are your parents? The part that kills me the most with this story is that right after, like immediately after getting that business class seat, he takes off the moon boot and kicks up his feet like nothing is wrong. He then has the audacity upon landing to just stroll off the plane as if the entire thing never even happened. A staff member even says to him, Thank you, I hope your ankle gets better. The video has been viewed over 140,000 times and although he drew a ton of hate for it during an interview with Insider.com, he said that he would do it all over again. So clearly he has learned nothing from this experience. He even said that he kept the boot for the express purpose of doing this again whenever he wants. Jamie told Insider, some other people felt the need to criticize it but at the end of the day if they're that upset over my upgrade all they have to do is call me and I can help them plan their next flight experience. Oh, so you're running a business now that specializes in fraud? Okay, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. He goes on to say, I would say to these people that I'm sure we have all tried to find a way to get something for free or for a discount and in this video I have done nothing but that. Well, it's a little more than that, pal. What if there was someone in economy who was actually in pain? I mean, had a real injury, but they didn't want to bother the busy flight attendants to see if they could move to a more comfortable spot. Now you not only have taken the seat away from them, but you've also displayed that you really don't care about other people. This is no different from shoplifting. He straight up stole a spot on an airplane valued much higher than whatever he had paid for his economy and then he videotaped himself committing the crime. What? 
And if you don't know, this is straight up disability fraud and I don't even think that he realizes this. When you fake an injury, you're not just gaming the system. You're taking away a service from someone who might actually need it. This type of crime could result in future denial of services as well as criminal charges if the airline discovers they've been duped, which shouldn't take long considering the amount of backlash that he's getting for this. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Onision calls 911 on Chris Hansen. Perhaps my favorite 911 call of all time. I just love when he's like, can you describe the person that's at the door? It's uh it's Chris Hansen. <laughs> Too good. Ellis Bartlett says, I'm staying classy with my bacon grease. Yes, good job, Ellis. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. That's the worst. Awkwardly Silent says, Finally, I've been hungry for your take on this. Beautifully reported, Johnny. Why, thank you. After that 911 call, we had to jump on it. Kenko 1989 says, Stay classy. Did I get it right? Yes, Kenko, you nailed it. As for the rest of you, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. David K says, Johnny, can we be brothers? Sure. You are now David K. Bacon. CSDU says, dude, shave, seriously, not a good look. Um, no. Hard no, bud. It's a hard no. Thank you for watching Inform Overload, and if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this story. Plus, for more videos like this one, and to get me to stop talking, just tap that playlist when it comes up on your screen. From IO, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy. The part that kills me the most... W-A-Y-P. Slide it. I didn't mean to sound so aggressive when I said roll the clip. It's just for the viewers.